people crossing Gratiot Avenue were hit by a car, and one is now dead, the other is in the hospital. The driver, we're told, was following traffic laws when it happened and is now at home after talking with police. But our Lauren Podell spoke with his family this afternoon. Uh, obviously a tragedy, Lauren. What are they saying about this accident? It certainly was, Avrod, and we did speak with the wife of this driver who says he was just too shaken to go on camera earlier this morning, but says he is sending his thoughts and prayers to both of the men's family that were involved in this crash. Now, we are here live in Clinton Township, right here at Gratiot Avenue, where this accident took place, and we do have some new information. That man that died is from Clinton Township. That's what we've learned, a 56-year-old also. The man that's right now fighting for his life in critical condition is a 36 year old man from East Point. And while you can see both lanes of Gratiot have reopened, there was a lengthy investigation here just a few hours ago. Boots and a backpack scattered across Gratiot Avenue in Clinton Township. This is the scene after two men were hit crossing the street just after six this morning. Clinton Township Police Sergeant Chris Alice. Unfortunately, um, a couple pedestrians were crossing from the east side of the street to the west side of the street, possibly to get to the bus stop, and um, didn't see the car coming. And he didn't see the pedestrians. A 59 year old white male died at the scene. A 35 year old black male was rushed to the hospital and is in surgery. As for the driver who has a Vietnam veteran license plate, Sergeant Alice said he's fully cooperating. The driver stayed on scene. He's cooperative. Alcohol is not suspected at this time. Speed doesn't appear to be excessive. We had multiple independent witnesses. They also stayed on scene and gave statements. Police believe the two men may have tried crossing the middle of Gratiot to get to the bus stop directly on the other side of the street, but roughly 100 feet away is a proper crosswalk and police say with limited street lights in the area the driver simply didn't see them seeing pedestrians at night especially when they're wearing dark clothing um, it's just extremely difficult for people and really, we should point out that crosswalk really only 150 yards away. And just next to that crosswalk, you can see here live a memorial honoring a young woman who was either 19 or 20 years old that was hit by a hit and run driver, killed rather by a hit and run driver back in 2013. So the police sergeant Alice telling us that this stretch of grass has certainly seen its lot of tragedy here over the last couple of years. And there are three factors that really contribute to so many pedestrian accidents, Evrod. Obviously, this being a very busy road, the poor traffic light, the, or the, the poor lighting, I should say, here along Gratiot, and then you have heavy foot traffic because of all of the bus stops here. So police want everyone to use caution when walking on this stretch of road. Reporting live this noon, Lauren Podell, back to you.